So here are the latest and greatest videos from the Wingsound.com community. Right, these videos are great because we love watching the videos from the community. So much great stuff is being shared on the community site at Wingsound.com. Come upload your videos if you have them right now, and let's check out some of the stuff that's popping right now on the community. Dance the 2K explains how to use the sounds from Reason within FL Studio. Um, to start off, we're going to add a rewire channel. Here we go. And choose Reason under Client. Then click on Show Panel. Um, in here, all we've got is a redrum. Just um, with a Groove Master rock patch. Now you click on MIDI options. Um, note the channels here. Um, redrum is channel 8. You're going to have to remember that because you'll be wanting to control channel 8, which is the redrum from Fruity. Um, just click on Add. Um, click on Channels, then add a MIDI out. Now I said channel 8. Port zero, which is fine. Now when I play my keyboard, let's see it here. Dance Tech gives us a preview of the new Flex tool in Logic Studio 9. You put it into 12s and it simply grays out the transient marks it doesn't need to make 12 per bar. So therefore, that's why you kept getting these, still getting the stutters at 16th, because it, although it grays them out, they're still there, they're still being sounded. So that's why manually putting the transients in and then quantizing to something lower than 16 doesn't work because the four that are being kicked out and unused still sound. They've just got nowhere to go because there's only 12 steps for the quantize and there are four extra markers that haven't got anything to snap to. The reason it works when you use a group and one wave is giving its transients to the other wave is because if I put it into 12s this wave then only uses 12 transient markers per bar therefore it only hands over 12 transient markers to the other region that is part of the group and that's why it works that's why I can put this wave into 12s and it still puts the 12 transient markers in look per bar there's one then three, then three, then three. Surflex 10 demonstrates how to change the tempo of an audio file in Recycle. As you can see right now, this tempo is set to 80 and I'm gonna go ahead and play this drum loop. If I were to try to change the loop before adding any slices, it's not gonna do anything. Right now I changed it to 209. And as you can hear, it's the same, same drum loop, nothing changed. Uh, we're gonna change this back to 80 and I'm gonna add my slices. If you add slices to your loop, you add slices first to your loop, then it'll allow you to change the tempo. Hey, thanks so much for watching. We really hope you enjoyed these videos. And remember to keep up to date with all information regarding Wing Sound. You can find us on Twitter at Wing Sound. Yes, or on the podcast on iTunes. Search for Wing Sound on iTunes. Subscribe, it's free, and you'll be getting the latest releases from Wing Sound Studios delivered straight to your phone. Yes, and remember, any questions you have at all, you could always reach us personally at Mateo or Rick at Wingsound.com. And remember, for more video tutorials like these, visit Wingsound.com, the new social video network for audio creatives.